Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a tutorial on this flip book, which I made using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch. And so I just thought I'd share with you my process when making snail mail because I've been asked a few times now. So to start off with, I usually go through and pick the paper that I like. I love this paper pad, it's very nice. It's got lots of gold foil throughout, which is, as you know, one of my favorite things. So I'm going with this gold polka dot paper as well as a pastel -y pink. Once I've picked out my papers, I'm going to go ahead and use the 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. This one is a new one that's come out, which you can use to create envelopes, bows and boxes. And it's better than the original envelope punch because it has a few extra goodies that you can use. So I'm just trimming the paper down to the correct size and you'll see that I do make a boo-boo and cut one piece of paper slightly longer than I should but that's okay it does work out okay in the end so I'm just trimming the paper down to size it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half again it depends what size envelopes you're making then once you've selected your paper you go across to where the punch guide recommends you go punch and then you use the little tool to indent the paper if you haven't got one of these boards and you're into snail mail, I thoroughly suggest that you get one. They're amazing. So you see, you just punch and score all the way around. And once you've done that, then you just fold it into the shape of an envelope. It also has a round corner cutter so you can make the edges round, which I prefer the look of. And then just stick down the edges with your roller glue. I'm now going to do the exact same to the second piece of paper and make a second envelope. Once both envelopes are made, you can decide how you want to lay them out. So you can either put them sort of back to back or facing inwards like I've decided to do. It's at this point that I noticed that the gold envelope is slightly larger than the pink, but I think imperfection makes it a better project. So I'm just going to stick that into the other one using my roller glue. And then after that, you can either choose to leave the flap on or I decided that I would take it off. So I'm just going to grab my um, cutter again and just trim that. If you wanted to, you could actually just use this as the envelope and not decorate the outside and send it off like that. But because I love to decorate, I will be putting my envelopes inside another envelope so that I can decorate the front and back. Once you get that all trimmed how you like it, I'm going to use some washi tape to bind the middle don't necessarily have to do it but I just prefer the look of this than leaving it blank. Once I've done that, now for the fun part, we're going to start decorating. So I'm sorry if this appears a bit random but I am a bit random when I create my mail. I usually just grab a whole bunch of supplies and work out where I'm placing it as I go. So I generally do not have a plan, it's all very random. So you'll see me going through all of my die cuts and just pulling out anything that I think might work in the mail. I'm picking all the die cuts from my pink and gold collections, only because I love a theme, so obviously pink and gold is my theme on this one. Once I've grabbed out everything that I want, I literally just start laying it all down, working what I like, and then once I finally kind of worked out what I'm doing, then I'll start to glue. And usually I'll still change my mind halfway through gluing. So you can just see I've placed down a big project life card and a smaller project life card, and then just some die cuts. Once 
once I've got that all down and I'm happy where it's placed, I'm just going to use some of these alphabet stickers from the reject shop and I'm just going to write a little hello. Sometimes I write hello, sometimes I write the name of the person that it's for, but I usually like to put words of some variety on the covers of my mail. Most of these goodies, if you're wondering, are from either the reject shop or from Spotlight or from Pen Pals. And then of course I use a little bit of washi tape because I can't live without washi tape somewhere on my snail mail. The last touch is just some enamel dots. Again, I love just that little bit of dimension. Now I'm happy with the cover, moving on to the inside. Usually, again, it's kind of just a random hodgepodge of die cuts, project life cards and little mini envelopes. And I use the little mini envelopes usually just for some small presents for my pen pals, whether it be die cuts or stickers, inspirational quotes, whatever it might be, or tea sometimes as well. So I'm just, again, laying everything down roughly where I like it. The gold polka dot envelope is from the reject shop if you're wondering. I think I should have bought about 10 more packets. And then I'm going to use a Project Life card in the middle and I will use that for probably a mail tag question and answers page. Then just decorating the back because I don't like any plain surfaces in my mail. Using Project Life cards and die cuts and this washi tape. The washi tape I've got here doesn't really stick very well so I usually have to use a little bit of glue on it. Now I've got that in, I'm going to move over to the other side. Oh, sorry, always adding enamel dots, typical. Right, now I'm just going to bind that other side. Moving right along, just going to start decorating the other envelope. Again, just random die cuts, and a lot of these were sent to me by Pen Pals. I believe that little Polaroid is from Typo, but again, something that was sent to me. I'm a very lucky Pen Pal. And I'm also deciding here that I'm going to add in that envelope as another mini flip and probably again either die cuts or stickers for my pen pal and I'll add those in later. So I'm just using this other MT washi tape to stick that down. MT washi tape is so wonderful, it's the best washi tape in the world. Okay, and then adding in some more alphabets. So my pet hate is running out of the vowels. So usually I've, I've just taken an F here and I'm making that into an E. It's a bit of a bodgy looking E, but it's an E nonetheless. And I'm using that side for my letter, so I'll put read in there. And adding more and more and more elements. And then I was going to use a little sheet and decided against it. I'm not adding too much decorations to the back, just a few here and there, just so that it's not completely bank, but I love the gold foil polka dots, so I'm just going to leave that. I always like to add in a few words just like I do with my planner. I just think it gives it that little bit of extra something special. And then just adding more and more die cuts. So I think the best thing about snail mail or the best approach I found is when you think you're done, add something else. And then I'm adding in again some more alphabets and I'm turning my Q into an O again. No more vowels. And then I'm just going to decorate the uh, other side with some more words. And then I think I just have to finish off this one card for my mail tag. Um, I was kind of having a hard time decorating this. I didn't know quite what to do, but I got there in the end. presents for my pen pal and fill in the mail tag questions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. See you next time.